I'm putting my tongue out. Uh, um. Okay, we're back again with part five of the robot head and arm project. I've been doing a bit of work. Um, I've started implementing some uh, face detection using OpenCV, uh, using the webcam mounted in the robot head. And that's then expanded into some quite rudimentary face tracking, but it does prove that it will work. Uh, a lot more work to be done on that to get it smooth and, and looking fluid. Uh, I've been pondering this week where to go with this project really. I've, I've got a list of features up on my, uh, on my blog at bigfacerobotics.com which is just, uh, just a list of things I'm thinking about for this project. Um, We'll go through the list really quickly and, and decide which, well, and I'm going to decide which ones I'd, I'd like to, to implement. Um, some are quick and easy, some are going to take a long time and be ongoing projects. So I've got things like programming and replaying poses and sequences from the, the interface. Uh, we're halfway there in replaying them, but I want to be able to manually move the robot to positions, click a button, store that position, and then build up sequences of those positions to to generate um, movements. Um, 3D models on the on the interface as well would be nice to show where the robot is and do some offline programming. Face detection and tracking which I've, I've been doing and, and I've made some progress on that and the next step on from that would probably be uh, facial expression uh, detection which for a, a robot that's interacting with people I think is important is the person smiling and the robot can reflect their mood, or is the person uh, getting bored and, and walking away? Um, things like stopping the arm when the triggers hit should be a fairly quick one to implement. But then I've got to handle that error somehow. Um, one suggestion that came from my uh, from my son Vinny was having the robot um, shake someone's hand. He liked the idea of that, and that led me to the idea of showing you a, a clip in a minute of him interacting with the robot, uh, which I think was an interesting little um, experiment, if you like. So that'll be coming up later. I've got things like grippers. Am I going to put a grip on it? Maybe one day. Some remote control using Bluetooth or a little app of some kind. Um, the right having the robot play games could be fun. Things like uh, uh, speech. Have the robot hear and and speak would be very useful again that's going to be a long-term project um, having the robot map its surroundings and and map its own movements and geometry um, could be interesting again I think that's going to lead into some sort of AI learning algorithms which is going to be again a longer term project for this one and the last idea was some sonar sensors or some other um, sort of sensors around the robot to to just help it pick up a proximity of people to it or objects. Uh, it could be a fun experiment as well. But for now I'll show you some of the uh, face detection and tracking at very early days. It's not particularly smooth but it is a proof of concept and I'll, I'll show you that here. <laughs> As I mentioned, I've had my son Vinny out helping me in the garage. I've been replaying some sequences of movements of the robot, as shown in part four. And I was gauging his reaction to the robot. Is he understanding what the robot's uh, trying to convey through its facial expressions and movements? Or, or is it just really not working? And I think the results were positive. 
I think he had he had fun. He enjoys um, watching the robot move and and helping me out. So we'll, we'll have a look at that. I'll, I'll show you a few clips. And uh, and as I said, that was a bit of fun. I'm Vinny. I'm four. And do you like robots? Yeah. Very good. And where is there a robot? There. Can you come and show us? What do you like about the robot? Because he has this arm and he can shake hands. Very good. Right, ready? Go. Smiling! Confused. You think so? Happy. Oh. Sleeping. Awake. And what else did you say would be good he could do? Shake hands. Yeah. So if he does this, hang on. Huh? What if I do this? Oh. Right, that's enough. Right, we'll let go. <laughs> hang on. Right, watch what the robot's doing. Look. Watch what he's doing and tell me. Ready? Steady. And what's he saying? Yes. So that's it for this week. I've had a lot to think about and a lot of planning to do. I think I've got a good list of features I'd like to implement. Um, I'll probably be doing them one at a time or picking one per week or, or over a couple of weeks to try and try and implement. As I said, I've got a bit of work to do on the face tracking and detection. And then I'll be moving on to something else. So that's it for this week. Um, come back next week. I'm going to try and do another video next week. But I'll hand over to, to Vinny to sign us off. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. See you next week. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.